Hi there YouTubers, um, I finally decided to do a plant update, a hot pepper plant update. I think this is uh, 11 or 12, um, yeah, I, um, I got a bunch of uh, ghost peppers right here, uh, one of them is turning here, they turn orange and then red, but um, just on this little um, just down in this little area here I have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, um, one, hang on, <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, six in this little cluster, and there's one there, um, let's see, and I have one back there, one right there, um, one right here, one right there, so two here, let's see, there you go, um, what else have we got, um, the monster, which is going to turn here probably in a couple days, um, there's my hand up to it, let's see, there we go, that's for you Todd, <laughs> it's pretty big, gnarly looking, um, there's another one right here, um, there's one that's turning, another that's turning, um, I'm gonna give one of these to Joe John, um, Sorry for the wait, uh, but uh, yeah, you'll get one of these. They take about a month and a half to turn ripe, so um, very slow in turning ripe. But um, I think that I'll, yeah, I'm still going to send it out to you on Monday like I told you. It should be uh, ripe enough, but yeah, good looking ghost peppers. Um, let's see, I still have more on the plant. Um, let's see, little guy right there, uh, another little guy way back here, right there, um, this one's starting to turn, uh, you probably can't tell, it's probably kind of a little too dark, but, and then a bunch on the top that look like they're going to turn here, um, you can't really tell from this angle, but yeah, I'd say I'd say I'd probably have um, 15 pods at least. Fif yeah, 15 to 20. Um, so that's the ghost pepper. Um, the butch tea. Uh, again, is being a nightmare to try and get to produce, so I uh, up the ferts. Um, I should have given it two um, double ferts, um, but I wanted to try out um, one and a half times the amount first to see what happens. And so far, the results are good. Um, nothing has really turned into a pod. But, uh, where is it? Uh, hang on a minute. Um, this one here. The stem is really thickened. Um, and, uh, let's see. This one here, the stem is thickening. And, uh, you know, it might turn. Yeah, it's kind of got the head poking out a little bit of the pepper. Um, so, nothing really, you know, permanent, permanently turning into a pod just yet. Um, 
I'm going to go ahead and feed it. I Let's see, I fed it um, strength and a half. Uh, let's see, I want to say about three, four days ago. Um, I'm going to go ahead and feed it full strength today, um, which is regular strength instead of strength and a half. And, um, and then after that, I'm going to not feed it for probably another two weeks. And then when I feed it again in two weeks, I'm probably going to go double strength. So, I'm um, seeing good results from feeding it more. Um, here's another one that might do something. Let's see here. But stem isn't really thickening here. Yeah, so why not? Um, today I'm going to feed it um, regular strength. So we'll see what happens. Um, so that'll be feeding it. That'll be feeding it um, one and a half strength, and then like three, like four days later, feeding it. Uh, again at regular strength. I was going to feed it um, in a week at regular strength but I want to get some peppers so I'm going to feed it today at regular strength. I mean a, a week from the last time I fed it which was three or four days ago so a week from there but today I'm going to feed it so I want some peppers from this freaking butch tea. Um, as you can see, the another note on the butch tea is that the leaves are really fill, filling in from the leaf loss. It is a pretty massive plant. Um, the highest point is like halfway up to my belly. So I really don't know what the height would be, but I want to say... Um, three and a half, four feet tall. Here is the yellow seven pod. Um, the branches are extremely wide. I can't get it through the door anymore. <laughs> so it's just kind of going to be outside for the rest of the, up until um, colder temperatures. But by far my most prolific, best producing plant. Um, one of the branches actually broke and I duct tape it duct taped it um, that pod's starting to you can see a little yellow there so it's starting to ripen um, that pod is starting to ripen um, I got some new pods let's see there's a new pod right Right there, if it'll focus. Okay. Um, let's see here. Oh yeah, of course. The best one, it's kind of buried under here. Oops. There we go. It's almost completely ripe. Um, It'll be completely ripe today. It's just got that little point right there. But, yeah, I'm going to eat that. My best yellow 7 pod is golf ball size. Side view here. There you go. So, I'm really excited about that one. It better have seeds in it because I'd like to save the seeds from an awesome producing plant. Um, another good sized one here, not ripe, but it's, it's pretty close to golf ball size. Another good sized one here, it's just a little bit bigger. It's about golf ball size. Um, a good sized pod, where is it? Right here. Um, another good sized one right here. 
There you go. Um, this is an awesome plant. Here's another one. There's, most of them are smaller, probably about between nickel and quarter size. Here's another one here. Um, but this is just an amazing plant. I mean, 40 to 50 pods on it. Um, most of them are between nickel and quarter size, but I have a few bigger ones on there that are golf ball size. Um, that one that's ripe is probably maybe a hair bigger than the golf ball. Um, on to the bigger ghost pepper plant. Um, here it is, and then here's the one that's producing. Let's see if I can zoom in. Yeah, there we go. Um, this is just a freaking bush. I potted it up. It lost all the it lost all the buds and flowers for some reason. One, um, but I did pot it up and I increased the newts to one and three quarter strength, and um, just got a couple flowers on there. Unfortunately, um, nothing's going on with this plant, so. I'm going to feed it again here in a couple of weeks and give it a double strength. Um, and we'll see what happens. But it is a hell of, I mean, look at all that growth down there. Let me zoom in. That's the base of the plant. All the growth at the base. It's like a freaking jungle down there. And then... The top of the plant is a jungle too. And then you got the the bottom side here and it yeah, it's just it's just a jungle in there. It is an awesome looking plant. It just needs to give me some pods. So, um I'm really hoping for like another month of decent or good weather uh, the temperatures have already really cooled down like uh, we've already hit like 70 for the high 69 70 so that's pretty low for summer August temperatures so that's not looking good for me and there's more kind of crap summer not some summertime weather on the way so the good thing is that I have the uh, grow tent and I'm going to put them under the lights. Um, I won't, obviously won't be able to fit all the plants, but um, I don't really know what I'm going to do. But I'll probably just trim them back and put them in the grow tent, whatever I can fit in the grow tent. Um, especially that big butch tea, I really want to get that to produce. Um, I don't really know what else I'll put in there, but um, here is a small butch tea getting bigger. Um, I'm gonna jack up the f the newts here next time I feed it. So in a couple weeks, um, I'm gonna go probably probably do double strength on it. Uh, yeah, so here is my update number 11 or 12, can't remember, I can never keep track, but, um, yeah, I just really hope that, uh, I get some more pods, they're finally starting to ripen, and, um, I'll be putting them under the grow light here pretty soon, and, you know, try to keep these going um, until I'm ready to germinate more seeds for next year and I'm gonna have to really trim them back because <laughs> the yellow I mean these two plants the yellow seven and the butch tea are massive so 
Um, this ghost is starting to get pretty massive too. And the butch tee is getting a lot bigger, so I'm going to have to really trim them back. Um, but especially the butch tee is going in under the light. I'm going to make sure that I at least get that one under the light. Anyways, sorry for such a long update. It's been a while. Thanks for watching.